So you want to storyboard your novel. I think it's a great idea and there's a lot of software out there to choose from. I'm gonna share with you the one I use, which also happens to be free. It's called Draw.io, and here's how I use it. Let's go. First, I wanna tell you what I mean by storyboarding, and then we'll talk about my favorite software to use to do it, Draw.io. I'm sure there are many definitions of storyboarding out there, but to me, storyboarding just means kind of planning out the rest of your story on post-its or digital post-its or index cards. Basically, anything that looks like a kind of lily pad. <laughs> because the whole idea is that you wanna view your story as lily pads that you're gonna move between. It's sort of a beautiful thing to be able to see the macro view of it by looking at a bunch of bright, happy post-its and recognizing that each one represents a scene. Now, you can of course always do this on poster board with actual post-its. And honestly, that remains my favorite way of doing it. I love it because it's tactile, it's crafty, it's an excuse to do arts and crafts, and it just, it looks really cool. It's fun when I have this big poster board covered in post-its. The novelist Rufy Thorpe, who is a friend of mine and who also teaches with me inside my program, The Book Incubator, is also all about crafting when she's in the first draft stage of a novel. She actually has a whole collage system that's super fun and arty. She, she pastes images and things in a notebook. But sometimes digital is the way we have to go. You know, maybe we're on a writing retreat in the middle of nowhere and we don't actually have craft supplies or, you know, we're secretly storyboarding our novel in our cubicle at work <laughs> and our secret will be exposed if we suddenly start doing arts and crafts at our desk. Or like one writer I work with, you know, you may have pets or very small children who are super eager to help out with any art you start making and that becomes a very dangerous thing. So the good news is that in all of these cases, there is, well, there are many digital options, but there's one that I really like personally. So some storyboarding software that writers I work with have recommended include things like Plotter, P-L-O-T-T-R, um, Canva, Dabble, um, you know, Scrivener, which I'm making some other videos about because I, I do use Scrivener. But the one I wanna talk about today, I'm focusing on because it's the one that I actually use for storyboarding and have for the longest time. And again, it's free. So this software is called draw.io, also diagrams.net. Either one works. <laughs> okay, I access it through Google Drive. So if you have a Google account or a Gmail account, you're all ready to set up to use this software that, you know, in Google Drive that you already have. So here's what you do. Go to drawio.com. You can also go to diagrams.net. It's the same thing. You're gonna be offered the option to download the app. And you can do that, or you can just use it on the cloud you know, on the web. I think this is a nice option if you're collaborating with other people and you want them to be able to access it on the cloud or you use different devices and you want to be able to access it from anywhere. So that's the one I use from that reason because I like to be able to go into my storyboard from my phone or my computer or my iPad. Like most diagramming and storyboarding software, there are going to be lots of bells and whistles that you can use, but I don't want you to be intimidated by them and decide that you're not gonna use it because you're overwhelmed. I don't use any of that stuff. I don't use the fancy arrows that connect the boxes. I don't use anything that's automated. I just use the shapes and I pretty much just use one of them, the square, <laughs> because it looks like a post-it. So I make the square, I make each square a color, and I type a few words in each square to represent each scene. That's it. Now, here's a screenshot of the storyboard that I created in draw.io for my second novel, Privilege. I, again, made this in draw.io years ago, and I wanna point out a couple of things about it. But before I do, I quickly want to invite you to apply to my program, The Book Incubator. It's a 12-month MFA alternative that I started and now run with novelist Rufy Thorpe, who I mentioned a second ago. You can apply at the link below, it's just two questions that takes less than five minutes. Okay, now back to the video. First, as you'll see in my example, I use a different color for each of my point of view characters because this novel, Privilege, was told from the perspectives of three different characters. So using three different colors for the squares allowed me to track the three different storylines. Also, you'll notice that in this case, um, the, the point of views varied by chapter. And so I found that to be the easiest way to demarcate my post-its. 
each post-it represents a chapter. But in other storyboards, I usually find it more convenient to make each post-it a scene rather than a chapter because I don't usually decide where the chapter breaks are gonna be until after I have a full draft. That's something I do on revision. But you can do it whatever way works for you. Now, what are you putting on these post-its? I just put a few words about what goes into the scene. You know, you can make them as sparse or as lengthy as is helpful to you. I just put the main event driving the narrative forward in that particular scene. If you want to actually use my template, I am making this available for download for a limited time. So just go to the link below this video. And if the link has expired, it means it's no longer available. Sorry, but just reach out to see if we can get it to you. Maybe we can. Regardless, I hope this video was helpful. Storyboarding is a very cool tool to use when I'm about midway through a first draft. And free software for doing it, I feel like is even better. Speaking of writing a book, are you writing a book? Or do you want to write a book? Because if so, I want to hear from you. When I'm not writing, my mission in life is to help writers write their dream books. If you're curious to know more, I have a free video walking you through my four notebooks method for writing a novel. And you can get it and get my free template for using the four notebooks method by applying for my program, The Book Incubator, a 12 month MFA alternative. Just two questions, takes under five minutes. Just tell us a little bit about you and your book or your book idea to get the free training and template. I'm excited to hear from you.